Hello everybody, Luke back once again, this time to be breaking down everything we know about Metroid Dread. Now this game was just announced today, comes out this year, and it's finally giving us a new Metroid game, even if it's not the one we wanted. Now it's been many years since Metroid 4 was announced, and we still really don't know anything about that game. You can see one of my videos from earlier this year where it broke down the limited details we had there. Nintendo has hit a complete reset starting over on development of that game. That was announced a while back though. To hold us over, Metroid, though, is coming out with a new classic side-scrolling 2D game, Metroid Dread, that will bring Metroid back to its roots and hopefully hold you over until the Metroid Prime 4 comes out sometime in the future. Your guess is as good as mine. In this video, we're going to be breaking down everything we know about Metroid Dread, including its release date, some details about the story, and more. First though, if you're new here, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Hopefully we can help you learn something new about the world of gaming. Help us hit 1,000 subscribers. We're so close, just launched this channel recently. Your support would be hugely appreciated in helping us hit 1,000 subscribers. All right, everything we know about Metroid Dread is pretty limited, but we do have some key details. First of all, the big selling point again is it will be a 2D side-scrolling game with it. Now it is a 2.5 kind of looking game. There is some depth to the background, but plays like a traditional NES, SNES, Metroid game. It's actually been about 19 years since we've had a 2D Metroid game, and it's something that the game did very well, and it has struggled a little bit in the 3D world, so hopefully this will be a great way to bring even more new people to the Metroid franchise. This time you will fight against new enemies, including a robot that seems almost undestructible and it's bent on hunting you down. The trailer shows that no matter what you do against this robot, you're unable to damage it and you got run for your life. It seems like that'll be a big part of the game. This may not have been the game many Metroid fans wanted, but it definitely had a feel of true classic Metroid game style, which is pretty nice. For example, there is a mini map this time, or a big map, not really mini map, but when you start the game, it's barren. And as you go through and you explore, the map fills in with more and more details, much like in the original game where you didn't know what to do or where to go and you had to discover it as you explored, this game seems to be going back to those roots with it. Nintendo hopes that this where do I go, what do I do style will connect with gamers the same way it did back in the NES and SNES days. We'll have to see if that plays out. Unlike many of the Metroid games where you start on the top of a planet, work your way down from the surface, this time you're actually starting below ground and have to work your way up to the surface as you try to escape. The game also adds in some stealth elements. With these robots that are hunting you down, you actually have the ability to hide from them. They have a sensor range. If you stay out of it or out of their sensor's blind spots, we'll say, you can escape them from hunting you down and attacking you. If they spot you, they're going to chase you until you lose them, which can sidetrack you from maybe what you were trying to do in the game. It prevents you just from running and gunning throughout the game as a whole new development. Now, as with all Metroid games, you'll be able to upgrade your rooms, add skills and more to become more powerful and be able to complete um, parts of the mission that you may not have been able to do until you get the required power-ups or beats or enemies. Now the game is coming out this year, October 8th, 2021, has a confirmed um, date. Of course, as with all things in video games, subject to change, but it will be available for pre-orders, if not now when you're watching this, they say today from when I'm uploading this in the Nintendo eShop. Sadly, that's really all we know, but a quick recap. So we do know this goes back to classic side-scrolling 2D action. It will be this um, classic, where do I go, what do I do game. You know you need to escape to the surface, but how do you do that? It's up to you to, to decide. Definitely feels like a much less linear game. You're gonna have to decide which routes, which ways, what areas to explore and more. And the more you explore, the more you'll find out. Power-ups will be back and stealth will be a big part of this as you try to hide from the sensors that are hunting you down with these robots that seem almost indestructible. So we'll see how it plays out. What do you think? Are you excited for the new Metroid Dread game? Do you think the style will work well? It'll be available on the Nintendo Switch and it will be focused on the buying controls there so you don't have to worry about Nia Joy-Con if you have the Nintendo Switch Lite. So we'll have to see what happens. 
But leave me a comment. Let me know if you're excited. Also, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Help us hit 1,000 subscribers by hitting that like button and more. It lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here, and that helps us out immensely. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. We'll be back with another video real soon.